It's time for the Family Feud. Introducing the Richards family. Bill, Cheryl, Carl, Nancy, and Sharon. Ready for action. And the Huntley family. Lawrence, Barbara, Larry, Leonard, and Leslie. On your mark. Let's start the Family Feud. <laughs> In the star of Family Feud, Richard Johnson. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Boy, those schools jumped two days in a row, these little rascals. We still got them here. All our friends all over the country, pretty little girl named Sandra Cole wrote me a letter. It was so darling, I just want to blow her a kiss. Got a nice little letter here from my mama, Mrs. Madrid. Dear Richard, got a son who will be two years old, October the 20th, 1977. Just crazy about you and your game show, Family Feud. He always knows when it's on and won't leave the TV till it's over. When you come on, he yells, Richard, and throws you kisses through the screen. <clears throat> he then waves and then throws you another kiss. Would you please throw him a kiss and say hi? His name is Mikey. Make his whole day. Family Feud's our favorite show. Mikey, now pull yourself together and get a job. Here's our winning family, the Richards. Welcome, Bill. Hi, how, you how are you? We're delighted to have you. We're really Come glad to be back. $1,279 and just tell everybody about these nice people. Oh, fine. I got daughter Cheryl, my son-in-law Carl, Daughter Nancy and my niece Sharon. You have any other children, sir? Yes, have two. Oh, one more than this here. <laughs> a son. Well, who's counting? A, a son. A son, Gary. And what does he do? He works for Sears. Oh yeah. Now you're in the telephone business. That's correct. Uh -huh. Telephone company is that? Yes, Bell System out in New Hope, yeah, who, who was the idea of uh, putting that recording when you dial information? <laughs> that wasn't my idea. No, no. <laughs> it wasn't Einstein's either. It's no. a, when you dial, I don't know if it's around the rest of the country, but here when you dial and you want information, voice comes and says, have you checked your directory? If not, <laughs> we'll come on the line in a minute. Then you wait, what, how long? 16 seconds? About seven seconds or seven? 10 seconds, well, depending on where you are. Yeah, and then of course, <laughs> and the operator comes on, because if you had the directory, you would obviously get the number out of there, wouldn't you? That, that, whoever that is, I would like to talk to him about some swamp land I'm trying to get rid of. <laughs> Here's our gourmet cook who named a dish after me. <laughs> and, That's uh, right. Boy, your dad certainly named a dish when he named you. You're oh, as pretty as a picture. Thank you. Yeah. Met this rascal at uh, piano class. Yes. Is that right? Yes. Were you the player, Carl? Yes, definitely. Yeah? <laughs> she, uh, you see, the real thing was that she was the uh, front of her group, and I was the back of my particular group, so I really wasn't as good a pianist as she was. Aha. But do you still tinkle the ivory? I do more than that. Oh. <laughs> Listen, I... I <laughs> I gotta watch it because I'm a newly ordained minister in the Lutheran uh -huh. Church. You better watch it. Then. <laughs> Hi, Nancy. Hi. I didn't learn anything about you. What do you do, Don? Oh, I'm a housewife and I'm married to a great guy. Is he here? Yes. yes. Hi. Okay. And I see him at home. I just said hi. Oh, well, I'd like to say hi on TV, even okay. though he's here. And I have a beautiful daughter, and my husband makes caskets. Oh, great. <laughs> He marries them and my husband buries them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I love a family with a sense of humor. Hi, Don. Hi. What do you do? Sell Lucky Charms? No. No, I don't. I'm a school teacher. Are you really? Yes, I really am. I substitute now in Glendale. How old are the children? Elementary. Well, K we're through just six. delighted you do that because that's important. To it teach sure you. is. Here's a family going to try and get rid of you called the Hunley family. Hey! 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 Thank you. Thank you. Sharp gentlemen here, please. I have my wife, Barbara, Barbara, and my son, Larry, uh -huh. my son, Leonard, and my son, Leslie. What do you do, sir? I'm an oral surgeon. I'm chief of hospital dentistry at Loma Linda University. Tell me when they... I want to buy braces, because both my sons had braces, the metal ones. Now they have... I see people with plastic, clear ones. That's right. That's a great invention. Why That's don't right. all the dentists use those? Well, it's a choice sometimes. Uh, the attachments work better, I think. But that's orthodontics, and mine is oral surgery. Oh, I'll withdraw the question. <laughs> Thank you. I never thought he'd get testy over a question like that. You're a pretty lady. How Thank are you? Thank you. Fine. And how you've are got you? a great smile. Thank you. So he's doing good work. Yes. <laughs> These are your rascals here? 
Yes, they are, and I got them all raised up. Then I decided to go back to medical school. Really? And I'm in my third year of a residency in psychiatry. Oh, that's marvelous. And that's... I'm going to work with handicapped children. Beautiful. Uh, I thank you for that. <laughs> work with handicapped children. Excellent. What do you do, Larry? I'm a senior political science major at UC Riverside. I'm married to a beautiful young lady in the audience, and I arrange religious music for my church in Riverside. Oh, boy, you really a family that got it out and said, yeah, we're going to get out and get a piece of that system, right? Right. right. What do you do, uh, Leonard? I'm a junior economics major at UC Irvine, and I have about 11 more classes to go before I get my BA degree in economics, and then it's back for another four years for a graduate degree. But see, students, to be able to do that, that's a lot of hard work. Congratulations. Thank you. What are you, a bouncer? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Wouldn't it be nice if he was a bouncer? in a saloon. What do you do, Alexis? No, I'm a freshman at Lomond University, La Sierra College uh -huh. in Riverside, and I plan on being a dentist so I can follow in my father's footsteps. Well, or toothprints, which I don't Yeah, or toothprints. Welcome both families. What both families do? Come on, gentlemen. Right. We surveyed 100 people. The top five answers are on the board. Your job, gentlemen, try and find the most popular answer. Here's the question. Name a place you wish people wouldn't take babies. Lawrence. To church. To church. Any one of our 100 people say church? They did. Oh. One more, sir. Well, one answer better than that. A place you wish people wouldn't take babies. Movies. The movies. Right. Okay. Looking for the movies. Number one. What are you going to do? Play or pass? What do you I guess that's it. We're going to play. All right, Lawrence, you rejoin your family. Their strategy is to play. The $72, three answers left. Place you wish people wouldn't take babies, Stalin? Uh, sports events. Yeah? Yeah. Why not? Well, they scream in your ear. <laughs> of course, the adults are all very well behaved. Kill him! <laughs> sports events. Not there. That's your first strike. Two more strikes. You lose control of the question. The Hundleys then get a chance to steal. They're either plotting or having an extraction over there. I'm not sure which. Carl. Yes. Good. He recognized his name. He's come a long way. <laughs> name a place you wish people wouldn't take babies. How about a concert? A concert. All right. Good Let's good take a look. Good. Show us concert. Oh. Oh. It's only good if it comes up there. That's when you rally. When is that's your second strike, Nancy? Uh, to a hospital. To a hospital? Yeah, you can't let them in, you know. Any uh, place you wouldn't take babies. Yeah, hospital. There's a certain age limit. Oh, all right, fine. <laughs> the hospital's there. You'll be alive. But if not, your strategy will go on haywire here because you got three strikes in a row. Hospital. Uh, not there. Lawrence, right now you can get all that money. Just give me an answer. Wedding. Talk wedding. 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 Um, <coughs> what do you say, sir? Weddings. Weddings. Okay. Yeah. Come on. Weddings are up there. You get $72. If it's not on the board, the Richards get the money. Baby should not be at wedding. Uh, you got it. Number three, please. Number four. And number five. I don't understand that last one. That's where I bought my two kids at the market. What well, was a special? We'll be back right after this. Richards have $72. Nothing here for that one, but come on, little darling. We surveyed 100 people. The top nine answers are on the board to this question. Name someone with Miller in his or her name. Barbara. Henry Miller. Henry Miller, the author. Is he there? Uh, Not there. Oh. Wide open for you, darling. Johnny Miller. Johnny Miller? Johnny Miller. <laughs> Gentlemen, who plays golf. Are you going to play or are you going to pass? Pass. 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 What do you want to do? Pass. We're going to pass it. Going to pass. Yep. Yes. Go back there. I'll take you back to your family, old Don. They pass to you. Johnny Miller's the golfer. Larry, someone with Miller in his or her name. Let's try Lawrence Miller. 
Lawrence Miller. The, the Lawrence Miller? I believe so. Sure. I'm partial to that name. Of course. I don't know if you will be when you hear this sound. <laughs> Lawrence Miller! <laughs> That's your first strike, Leonard. I uh, can't think of any. Someone with um, Miller in his or her name. Three seconds. Strike. Come on. Um, Steve Miller. Steve Miller. Yeah. That's, that's Steve, I think it's Steve Miller Band, isn't it? Yeah. Steve Miller Band? Well, we'll hope he's up there for you. Looking for Steve Miller! You got it! $19 with seven answers left, and you got two strikes on you, Lawrence. Their strategy, of course, is to let this happen. Don't let it do it. Someone with Miller and his or her name. Glenn Miller. Oh. <laughs> Glenn Miller, the band leader, taking a look for Mr. Glenn Miller. You got it? Number one answer. Barbara. Your answer, by the way, Henry Miller, I thought was a marvelous answer. It just, you know, did not make our top nine. You got another one for me? Well, I hope it'll make it. William Miller, the great reformer. Oh, that's right. Yes, he reformed Lawrence, as a matter of fact. <laughs> <laughs> William Miller is up there. You're okay. If not, however, Richards get a chance to steal. The great reformer, William Miller! Uh, not there. What do you say right now? Need an answer. Mitch Miller. Mitch Miller. Right. Used to conduct the uh, right. groups, right? Right. Right. right? All right. Mitch Miller's up there. You get the money and a commanding lead in the game. But if he's not there, we're going to give it to Lawrence. All right? Look enough for Mitch. You got it. Show us number four, please. Movie actress, right? right? And a great dancer. Number five. Arthur Miller. Arthur Miller, playwright. Yeah. Just a mark. Number six. <laughs> Country and western singer. Number eight. Barney One of the top shows in the country, Barney Miller, starring Hal Linden. And listen, I don't know what's up there. What about the lady that is in every Mrs. talk show? Mrs. Mrs. Miller. Mrs. Mrs. Miller, right? right. Yeah. Wouldn't it be nice if she's there? Because yeah. she comes to watch us at Match Game. I've never seen her here. Let's take a look. Mrs. Miller! Ah! Well, they got $117. The first family that gets 200 plays for the big new. You're a star, Mrs. Miller! We'll be back after this. Hundred and seventeen dollars. Nothing here at the moment. Larry, come on. Dollar values are doubled. Remember, you're playing against the man of the cloth. He's a new minister, aren't you? Yes. His motto is kill. <laughs> Dollar values are doubled here. You win it, you remain the champs. You go for the big money. You need to win it, Larry, to get your family in this game. 100 people surveyed. Top five answers are on the board to this question. Name a musical instrument played in the Old West. Carl. Guitar. Looking for guitar. Number one. No way you can better. Let's find out what he's going to do. Play a pass. Their strategy may work, and it may not. You go back there. How many? 34 people said it. $68 in the bank already. Nancy, a musical instrument played in the Old West. The banjo. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Looking for a banjo. There it is. Yeah. 18 people said it. Sharon, what do you say? Harmonica. Yeah. 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 We're going to see if any of the people in the Old West played harmonica. You're, boy, you're in great shape at this moment. You have We're no strikes right on you at all. Got $117 there, 132 dollars up. Two answers left. Hundleys are plotting, but it may all be in vain. So I want a musical instrument played in the Old West Bill. How about a fiddle? Oh, yeah! yeah. 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 
100 people surveyed. Did any say fiddle? They did. $150. One answer left. What do you say, Donald? <laughs> bones. Bones? <laughs> did they play the bones? First strike. Carl. I'm surprised you missed it, because it's piano. Yes. Yeah. Piano's there, you're the winning family. If not, your second strike, oh, piano! Yeah! They did it, didn't they? Shut us out. They shut you out. Yeah. We didn't get any money there, but we have nice prizes, and I really just wish nothing but good, good things for you. You're a beautiful you. family, and thank, thank you for being here. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Do it for me, right? All right. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Who will play fast money? I... Are you going first? Go to your room. Second time up. Will they get the big money? We won't know till we watch this. The bone. Broke your just finger. broke my oh. fingernail off. Just broke your fingernail. You can hold it. Maybe it'll break. Aww. She has enough money. She can grow a new one. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Carl, your husband's off stage, has earphones on, can't hear anything. You know what we do. I ask you five questions. You give me five answers in 15 seconds. You try and think of the most popular answer. If you and Carl get 200 points, you're going to get $5,000, okay? <laughs> 15 seconds, please. Name a country that once owned land in what is now the United States. Mexico. An age when a girl kisses her first boy. Fourteen. A medical specialty. Uh, eyes. A color of pool balls. Green. An animal in the sign of the zodiac. Uh, scorpion. Okay, <laughs> the dreaded animal scorpion. Here we go. Name a country that once owned land in what is now the United States. You said Mexico, our survey said. Well, <laughs> the age when a girl kisses her first boy. You said 14. Was that your age? <laughs> our survey said 15. You got 27. Medical specialty. You said the dreaded eyes. Our survey said... Ooh. Frankly, I can't see it. Uh, we'd need two people to say eyes. They did not. Still have 27. Color of pool balls, you said... Green, our survey said... Five, you have 32. An animal in the sign of the zodiac, you said... Scorpion. And our survey said... Eight, you've got 40. Clear the board, please. Go back and I'll pretend you weren't here and I'll get Carl out of here. And here's Carl. Come on, Carl. Oh, stand right there. Forty. Forty. What? Forty. What? You mean 140? No, 40. That's what you got. You need 160. Now, I'm going to ask you the same question that I asked little Cheryl. You can't duplicate her answers. You would not want to. <laughs> but if you do, you hear this. I'll say try again, and you'll give me a another answer. This is a recorded. Please give us 20 seconds on the clock after you remind everyone the answer Cheryl gave us. Or vice versa. <phone rings> Name a country that once owned land in what is now the United States. England. The age when a girl kisses her first boy. Uh, 12. A medical specialty. Uh, surgery. A color of pool balls. Red. An animal in the sign of the zodiac. Uh, Pisces, fish. Fish. Turn around. I don't think we did very well. <laughs> a country that once owned land in what is now the United States. You said jolly old England. Our survey said 31. We got 71 points. Number one answer was France. The age when a girl kisses her first boy. You said 12. Our survey said. 16, you got 87. The age was 13. Medical specialty, you said 
Surgery, our survey said. Ooh. 32. Oh. Number one answer, surgery. Got 119 color of pool balls, you said. Red, our survey said. Oh. 21, you got 140. Oh. Color was black. That was the number one. You need 60 points for $5,000, an animal in the sign of the zodiac. You said. Fish. Our survey said. Six. Leo the lion yes. was the number one answer, but you get five dollars for every point. You got a total of seven hundred and thirty dollars. Okay, and we got a commercial. We meet great families. Everybody gets together. We can make this world a better place if we just look after each other, because we're all we got. We love you. Peace. <laughs>